Oh, damn. You wanted the brushed one? Oh, dude, it already comes on the kit, like set up. Oh, oh wow. Did you get a thought? Yeah. Is this dual compressor? That's the, the uh, vacuum in the air, right? Oh, wow. It does? Oh, no, no. It comes with the Are you gonna get dual? Wow, this is really nice. No, I'm gonna leave it like this. Dude. Looks really good. We have the tank's a nice brush finish. We got the one compressor. Not too sure what this is, the management, it's the brain. It already comes with like a platform that it's mounted on, so it pretty much it's a trunk setup already done. You just gotta put it inside your trunk and you're ready to go. So possibly might um wrap this the color of my car. Maybe wrap out the color of my car, I'm not too sure. And then some airlines. Let's see what's inside here. Oh, just a bunch of wires. I'm not too sure what all these mean, but the shop will figure it out for sure. What's in this one? Oh, what is oh the height sensor. So, the height sensor, height sensor. So, this is just four, obviously, because there's four struts. So, it just goes one in each. Let's see how it looks. Just more wiring. So I just put everything in this box real quick. We're gonna continue opening this box. Once I check out what's in here, we'll put everything out together so we can see what came total in the kit. Oh! Ooh. 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 Oh, oh, nice, bro. Damn. Damn. Holy shit, dude. The better than the other ones? Dude, feel the quality on these fucking things. Oh, Ooh, the actual bags are solid, dude. Dude. Look, bro, this is what you gotta pump. <laughs> dude, these are really nice. Yeah. Come here on the floor. Here you go. This is the rear hand. Yeah. It's heavy as fuck, bro. Nice. These are really nice. All right, guys. So here's the full kit. Here's everything that comes with it. We got the tank. We got the compressor. We got the front struts. We got the rear bags. We got the other struts. Comes with some adjustable end links. We got four high sensors right here. We got some tools in here. Tons of wiring. You know, we got a lot of fittings right here. Honestly, one big thing that I'm loving so far is that it came with this bottom plate with everything drilled to it. It's already a pre-assembled trunk setup. So. I might wrap that like I said earlier guys, I'm not too sure, but it just looks really clean so far and I love the finish of this tank. It's a nice brush finish, it has a nice metal straps around it, so it looks really good. And these bags and struts feel really good. They're solid, they're super heavy, so I know it's good quality, I know it's not cheap. So we got everything packed up, ready to go. We got the management in here. We got the air tank in there, in the back. I had to put my seats down. We got the actual bags. I have the KW has kit because I'm gonna have them put all my stock suspension in there. So yeah, even though the empty's a small car, it's still able to hold a lot of stuff, even though I had to put the seats down. So yeah, it's gonna head out of here right now. Head over to LTMW and get it going. And yeah, damn, the GTS swing looks so good, guys. I can't get over it. I can't wait to see this thing on the floor aired out. And taking some rear booty shots is going to look so dope.
few days later, I picked up my car from the shop. They finished their suspension install. They said everything went pretty smooth. It's fairly easy. Honestly, it's a pretty plug and play system. Um, I just didn't want to attempt it myself because I didn't have the proper tool. And I think having a lift makes things a lot easier. So that's why I just took it to shop to have them do it. So I hope you guys enjoy those clips before this. All right, guys. So we just got to one of the spots I usually film at. It's nice and quiet around here. No cars drive by. So pretty much I want to explain to you how the remote works. I'm going to show you guys the trunk setup before I move on to showing you guys any of my presets or any of that good stuff. So let's actually start off with looking at the trunk setup. So this is the trunk setup. If you guys remember in the beginning of the video, I told you it comes with a flat board. So everything's already bolted up to it. So they said everything was pretty much a plug and play like I was explaining earlier. I didn't do any like fancy trunk setup with like acrylic glass or anything with wood floors or anything. I possibly plan to do that in the future. So as far as running the lines, there's these little holes where you can actually attach a net back here. So they just unplugged one of those and ran the wires to there. So I think that was pretty smart. So I don't have to actually drill any holes into my trunk. Fairly simple, nothing too crazy. I'm possibly gonna order another compressor so I could be running dual compressors and I'll probably change the configurator here. So I have like one compressor here, one compressor here, maybe the management in the middle. Possibly my wrap this like I was explaining earlier too. Just so you know, kind of make it a little more fancier, quote unquote. So yeah guys, this is the trunk setup, nothing too crazy. It is really awesome that they do offer this bottom piece. We're back in the car now and this is the remote that came with the kit. I want to explain the remote to you guys a little thoroughly and not me just clicking the buttons and showing you my presets. So we ran the remote through right here. We actually did have to drill a little hole. I'll show you guys. We actually had to drill a little hole right there so the wire can go through. And we drilled a little bigger just so the wire isn't too tight. Um, we don't want to like take a chance of messing up with the connection. And it just sits in there. So it's simple as that. I added a little Velcro strip right here so I can just literally plug it right there and it chills right there. So these three buttons right here, one, two, and three, are my presets. So the way I have it said is, one would be my max height, two would be my right height, and three would be my slam. So all you would need to do to adjust to these presets is just hold the button down, and the car will go to that exact preset. But if you just do a quick click on the actual button, it'll show you what that number is, what you're setting it to. So right now, I'm aired up all the way, which is 152 PSI. I actually can go a little higher because my tank is set at 164 PSI. But watch, let's see for number two, which is my ride height. It shows 78 and then 77 in the bottom. And then three is aired out, which is zero all around, obviously. Let's just say for some weird reason, you forget like, dang, what was my ride height at? What was my uh, drive height at? You can literally just tap the button and just see it real quick. And you don't have to like go back and forth and try to figure it out. Or you can just click it too, and that's the obvious. Also, the plus and minuses in every corner is to manually um, air and air down each corner of the car by itself. Let's just say you're at a show and the road's a little bumpy and you're maxed air out, but you want your front up a little bit, or let's just say the front right up a little bit for some reason, you can just click the corner individually and it'll go up. So that's pretty cool. These two arrows right here, are to air up the full car manually all the way up at once and all the way down. So you can use these two. This M button right here is actually the menu. So if you use these arrows, you can click through them. You can adjust the color of the buttons, the back of your screen. If you guys hear that beeping noise, you guys can adjust that. You can adjust the speed of how fast your car airs down and airs up. And if you hold this PR button down right here, it'll fully fill up the tank. So let's say you're driving and your PSI drops down to, I don't know, let's say 150, because my max is set at 164 and you just wanna be safe, you can hold that button while you're driving and the tank will fill up while you're driving. So that's cool. And also you use this to save your preset. So you would hold it down, you would click one, two or three, whatever right height or drive height or slammed height you wanna be, and it'll save it for any of these. So yeah guys, that's just the basics of this remote. It's very user friendly. I think it's very easy to understand. So if you guys are considering going air suspension on your M2 or whatever type of vehicle you do have, I highly recommend DT Racing. So right now we're gonna step outside. I'm gonna show you guys my monster truck height is what I call it which is preset number one, and that's my max air out. I use that preset if I'm getting out of a driveway. So yeah, guys, let's go out and check it out. I don't have to click to it because it's already set at it right now. Okay, guys, so this is my monster truck height is what I call it. You can see that the actual OEM fender is clearing the tire right here. So that's pretty much mimicking stock height. And then if we go back to the rear, it's clearing the rear tire by a lot. So this will definitely give me more than enough room to clear any steep driveway. If we look down on the bottom, I have so much clearance from the actual side skirt. And then from the back, I have this crazy diffuser. And I know it's not gonna get damaged because I'm pretty much mimicking OEM ride height. Okay guys, so that was my max ride height. Like I was explaining earlier, my tank does fill up to 163 PSI. So I'm actually able to air up a few more PSIs up. So now I'm gonna show you guys my ride height and how the car sits while I'm driving. So all we're gonna do is hold down number two 
and the car will air out and you guys will hear the tank in the back. So you guys can hear the management of the tank adjusting to the actual PSI. And the reason why it's beeping is because it's letting me know that it's adjusting to it. In the settings, you can turn this beeping sound off if it does get annoying, but I like to have it there so I know when I'm getting to my actual preset. So yeah, let's go outside and check it out. All right guys, so this is my ride height. As you guys can see in the rear, the rear tire is tucking a lot more. I think this is the perfect setup for the rear. It's almost mimicking a slammed coilover setup. You can possibly go lower. You can tuck a little more, but I don't want to go that slammed in the rear because my diffuser does hang low and when I'm going out of a driveway and stuff, I don't want to take the chance of scraping it. And then this is my front. As you guys can see, it's tucking a lot already. So this is good enough because my front lip is really thick and I don't want to take a risk of scraping it and stuff. So when I'm going out of the driveways and stuff, I still air up, but sometimes I try to clear without airing up so I can just take off right after because I don't want to drive really fast on my monster truck height, quote unquote. So I just have to angle really well to avoid scraping my lips. So this is my front. And this is my rear. Let me know what you guys think of this. Does it look good or not? Some people with M2s might say, bro, this is too low for comfort. But honestly, I think it looks really good and it handles very well. I have no complaints. It feels really good. The car feels really planted. There's no issues with it so far. So, and it feels safe. That was my biggest complaint with my last air suspension setup. It didn't feel safe, but with this setup, I feel really safe. And now it's time for the one I'm sure you've all been waiting for uh, to see my car fully aired out and slammed. So you guys can see how it looks sitting on the floor. So yeah guys, so that would be preset number three on my remote, so all I need to do is hold it. And there it is. It goes down to zero. You guys can see the PSI is dropping. And the reason it has like that little thumping sound you guys can probably hear in the video is because I have a speed setting, so it won't air down too fast. If I just left it normal, it would be a consistent like but it has like that thumping sound because I don't want it to air down too low. And like I said, taking risk hitting your rims or if you have a super tight fitment, you guys don't want to, you know, you guys don't want your tire or rim to hit your fender. So let's go check out how my M2 looks slammed. All right, so here it is guys. This is my slammed height. You guys can see it. The front is literally sitting on the floor. My front tire is completely gone. It disappeared. And then the rear is tucking even lower than the actual lip of the rim. So this looks freaking insane. I think it looks really good. I know a lot of people wouldn't bag their M2 comps or even their M2s in general. But in my opinion, air suspension looks good on every car. So I'll just do a quick little walk around to show you guys. The rear is literally tucking completely. The rear diffuser sits perfect. It's like how I want it to sit. It looks so good with the wing. Shout out AA Concepts. If you guys need parts, make sure to hit me up. Um, yeah, it looks so, so nice. I'm finally getting content on how the build looks. If you guys are watching this video right now, my car is currently getting wrapped right now at Impressive Wrap. They do amazing work, so I'm excited to see the new color for Sigma and how everything looks. So here's just a little more up close on how my front wheel sits. You guys can see underneath, it is fully tucking. There's literally no room for movement or anything. Obviously when I upgrade my wheels, I will have to adjust my slammed height differently and possibly all my other presets because you know, it's a different offset and everything. But for now, this is how it sits with the OEM stock wheels. And I think it looks really good. There's literally no space to get. That is fully slammed guys and it looks so good. This angle right here, oh my gosh, looks so freaking sick. And that's from the front. Oh my God, it looks so clean. When I first aired out, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, this is what I've been waiting for. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. That's gonna end today's video. Again, huge shout out to D2 Racing for hooking up with the air suspension kit. The bags do ride amazing. I wanna mention that because I really didn't talk about handling, but the bags do ride really good. Honestly, it feels better than stock suspension. It feels better than my KW Hask kit that I just had. Again, huge shout out to D2 Racing for hooking me up with this kit for SEMA. I'm so happy to have you guys a part of the build. Um, I highly recommend the products. Everything has been good so far. I've had the air suspension on the car for two weeks and uh, there's been no issues at all. So huge shout out to Orson over there for helping me out. He got the kit to me very quick. It was just an easy process. So yeah, guys, I possibly will be one of the boot cars eventually at future shows. So if you guys follow me on social media and stuff, make sure to do if you don't already. And yeah, guys, that's gonna end it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments if I ruined my M2 or if I did a good job. So yeah, guys, peace out.